All right, what's up everybody? In this video, I am going to show you how to boot your Urbit ship, AKA your Urbit planet. And yeah, it's never been easier ever because you don't even need to use the command line now. There's a nice little app out there called Taisho. I'm gonna walk you through it. So even if you've never done this before, if you've never used the command line before, you can now get your own Urbit property and log on to the network with no third parties that can ever mess with you or, or touch what you own and your little bit of the Urbit universe. All right. So the way this will work is the only thing you really need to have as a prerequisite for this video is you need to already have an Urbit ship, also known as an Urbit ID. And if you don't have one yet, you can actually get one through me now. So if you go to exit.otherlife.co, you can sign up. And depending on when you're watching this, I might have a few for you for free. I'm going to be giving some out to my patrons and to my friends and, and members of IndieThinkers.org. So if you're seeing this right after I publish, I, I can probably hook you up. But if you're seeing this later, um, I might have to charge for planets because there's fees associated with it. In any event, you can get a planet through exit.otherlife.co. Then come back, watch this, and I'll walk you through how to get active on the network. The only other thing I would say is that if let's say you find, I think this video is going to make it super easy for you, but even if you find this a little bit too much of a hassle for you, for you, you can go also to Tlon hosting and they'll literally do all this for you for a fee. So if you are willing to cough up like 12 bucks a month, I think it is, they'll take care of all this for you. And then it's literally as simple as just logging into a website. The method I'm going to show you, you're in complete control, no third parties at all. All right. So let's get into it. Right, so the first thing you need to do is just go to bridge.urbit.org and it should look something like this. Just gives you a little bit of information about what to be aware of and your rights and all of that. Basically read that, make sure you agree, click the box if you acknowledge and agree with all of that. All right, click continue. And now just enter in your Urbit ID and your master ticket. So I entered mine. This is not mine, by the way. It's not my personal one that I use. It's just an example for this tutorial. All right, so it look, should look something like that though. Go ahead and click login. And then you will arrive at a page that looks something like this. So the key thing we need to do next is we just need to download our key file, all right? And you do that by going down here to OS. Go ahead and click that. And then look here where it says download Arvo key file. That's what you wanna do. Go ahead and click that. So now you should have on your computer a file that ends in .key, right? That's how you know it's a key file. So now we just need to go get the Taisho app, which you can get off of GitHub, all right? So it's still under active development, but it works. You just gotta go to github.com forward slash Arthin forward slash Taisho, all right? And if you just scroll down to where it says installing, boom, right there, just click releases, all right? and uh, just click whatever is the top one. That means it's the most recent. And yeah, pick the one that suits your computer. I'm on a recent, fairly recent Mac, so it's probably gonna be this Darwin one. And then once it's downloaded, once you unzip the zip file, you should now have a little app called Taisho. Looks something like this. Go ahead and double click the app. Am I sure I want to open it? Yeah, sure, open it. All right, so Taisho looks like this. We are going to boot a fresh ID. All right, so just, you wanna click this box here. And now all you need to do is enter in the name of your ship. That is what you wanna call it, I think. Let's do that. We'll just call it Justin. And then here you want to tell it the Urbit ID name with the little tilde in front of it. And then you want to upload your key file. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so I've went and entered my information, which you should also have. And once you're ready, once you've done that, go ahead and click continue. It says it could take up to a few minutes. All right, now I'm back. It was just about like five minutes for me. And it says your ship is ready. Enjoy the landscape. All right, launch ship into orbit. Boom, let's go. Let's go. 
All right, so it looks like my Urbit ID is preloaded and now I just have to paste in my access key again. Okay, so be aware that this is not the same as the master ticket. To get the access key, you actually wanna go back to bridge and it's actually what is called the login code here. So just go ahead and click copy and then go back to Taisho. Go ahead and paste that. Boom, click continue and voila. Check it out. Landscape is what you're seeing here. This is kind of like the default interface, basically. And this is where you'll do everything from here. All right, you can take a tour if you want, but it's pretty straightforward. If it's your first time, I recommend you take the tour. I'm gonna skip it. And the main thing I'll do is just, I will show you real quick how to enter my group. So if you wanna join the other life group, just go to join group and then you have to manually enter it in. I'll put this in the description in the box below for this video, but basically it's just hat tricks for, um, sorry, dash last stud forward slash other dash life. All right, looks just like that. Click join group and there it is. All right, I'll see you there. And before you go, just real quick, remember if you don't have a planet and you wanna get one, you can get one through me if you just go to exit.otherlife.co. All right, and there'll be some more information there also about joining my group and getting involved in my, you know, my neck of the woods on Urbit. I hope you found this useful. Subscribe to the channel if you want. There'll be some more Urbit related stuff coming out as I'm getting increasingly kind of uh, fascinated by it all. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the replies and subscribe to the channel. All right, I'll see you on Urbit later.